Hello, friends and enemies. It's me, V. Holy shit, they really got him clean! Ha! I went to the dentist today for a cleaning. Ha! It is February 20... I'm sorry, it's March 1st. Woke up, went to my dentist, got my stuff done. Now, what I'm learning from 2022... Ooh, it's cold. I don't know why it's hitting me right now. It's cold. Hold on. I need to get to the house. First things first. No one told me that I had a booger in my nose. Um, thanks so much for that. Number two, procrastination is, is being my downfall for, for 2022. If there's anything that I've learned thus far from 2022, it's to not fucking procrastinate. Now, how did I start New Year's Eve and New Year's Day? I'm glad you asked one person in the back. I'll tell you. I had bought two ravioli packs from Target. It included butternut squash, ricotta cheese, another one had goat cheese, and they had honey. Now, all of those flavors I like individually, but packed into ravioli, it was fucking disgusting. I choked down the first packet. Now, I had purchased these packets because they were 50% off with the Target Circle app, and yours truly was like, say, 50% off? Mm, sweet, awesome, cool. That being said, it was fucking disgusting. As a result, with the second one, I waited for weeks. While I was waiting for, for that to, you know, for myself to make myself eat it, I bought four yams from Misfit, at, from Misfit Market. I bought it a week. I waited a week and thought, I'm going to go eat them. During this time, one of the yams was moldy. I found out. I went, ooh, I picked it up, threw it in the garbage. I lysoled the table down. I dried it. I set the yams back down because I thought they were good. I was looking at the top. I didn't turn them over. If I had turned them over, I would have seen the one that was on the left side that was moldy. I didn't know this. And because they were what? On the table away from me facing away from me, it spread to the other two. A week I waited because I didn't know what I wanted to do with it. You know what happened? When I finally was like, I'm going to go make some baked, I'm going to go make some baked, baked yams and I'll have sweet potato fries. It'll be so delicious and awesome. Blah, blah, blah. Got all the ingredients because I had procrastinated to the very end. I get the first yam. And my fucking fingers go right through it. And I'm gagging. Because I know that's not good. I know some shit went down. So I'm freaking the fuck out. I'm Lysoling my hands. Because if you don't know. I have the Lysol wipes. So I use those motherfuckers. I turn the other two around. And then I noticed that it had spread. As well as on my kitchen table. So I'm like great fucking awesome. So I threw that out. Then I had to wipe down. My awesome kitchen table. Because again fucking mold and I was pissed at myself because these were items that I had planned on eating but I didn't eat after going through that I was like okay I need to change I need to change so what did I do I'm glad you asked one person in the back I went into my refrigerator and I went over into that awesome cat it's not even a cab I don't even know what the hell it is if it's a cabinet or not the point is, I went into it, and then I started to take things out and really look at them and go, am I really going to eat this? I had chicken noodle soup from Campbell's that was dated 2009. I lugged it from Milwaukee to my first apartment to this apartment. I had turkey gravy and black-eyed peas that I had gotten while I worked at Target in 2012. Again, I lugged it from one place to the other. And each time I did it, I said, I could still eat this. I don't want to give it to someone because I don't want them to get sick from whatever. But I'm not going to eat it. But I could eat it. You know, I could later eat it. And what if it's really good? And I don't know this. I finally threw those, those items away. Today, I found al almond milk that I had opened 
I'm sorry, not almond milk. It was almond milk eggnog. I love eggnog. I fucking, it's delicious. However, I'm lactose intolerant, so I can't really have eggnog unless I want to suffer through. So I bought, I think it was Califer, Cal, it was as a C word farms, I had bought their almond milk eggnog. Because I'm like, it's different. I'll try it. It was fucking disgusting to me, to me. Other people might really love it, but it was disgusting to me. As a result, it sat in that refrigerator. I had bought this around Christmas. The instruction said it's good for up to 10 days. It expired February 22nd of this year. However, I knew I could not make myself drink anymore. I could have given it away. I could have left it at work and been like, drink for anybody. Uh, I don't think anyone would have had it, but still... I could have done anything and instead it sat in my refrigerator until today because I threw it out because I realized again when you procrastinate bad shit happens which brings me to my whole thing of today I had surgery or I was supposed to have oral surgery for how many how many cavities what for two cavities two cavities yes last year which would have been $157 and $184. They said to me, you'd have to pay like 100 tops if you wanted to go and have it, you know, look like it was teeth, uh, regular teeth versus the silver, which have in my mouth. And I was like, okay. Well, after the wisdom teeth were removed, I was like, fuck that shit. And then by the time I was like, okay, I need to do something, pledge had started, a ton of things had started. And so I forgot about it. I went in for my cleaning today, and uh, they added more. I only have $1,000 for my dental insurance. That's for the whole year. So, looking at the teeth now, one, they added one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, instead of two, I have nine teeth that either have cavities or they're getting to the point where they could very well have cavities. And um, they said that with everything, I have $27 left. And I still have to go and get my cleaning, which is $171. So I'm paying out of pocket for my cleaning in September. Um, $856. And that's the thing. They did my cleaning, so we have to add that money for the cleaning. Uh, this, I said I'll do the first round. The first round is $856 that they're doing. Second round would be $704. So they expect me to pay $677 to them. Had I gone last year and gotten the fucking teeth filled from my cavities that would have been 184 and 184 that would have been one eight four eight carrier one six seven carrier one so 70 78 78 carrier one two three seventy so three seventy four approximately no three seventy eight 378 would have already been paid for. 378 out of a thousand would have been paid for, and the rest could have been paid for with this. And said I procrastinated, and now I'm gonna have to cough up $677 for my teeth. Do not pr procrastinate. And as I say this, I'm saying it, and it is 10. Oh shit. It is 10:30. I had a feeling it was 10.30. It's 10.30 at night. It's 10.30 at night. Tuesday, March 1st. And this video is to be edited and then sent to YouTube so you guys can see it on Wednesday. So I procrastinated this entire fucking video. That's what I'm trying to say. Do not do what I did, which is procrastinate this fucking video or procrastinate anything. Because when you procrastinate, 
Bad shit happens. You're up until midnight trying to finish a motherfucker. And guess what? It's not as fun as when you were younger. And you don't realize that until you're older going, oh my God, I spent $677 on my teeth. The American dental industry, dental care. You got to be rich to do dental care in this fucking country. And to have health insurance that pays the majority, you got to be re really rich. But I still need to and accept paying insurance because it's better than not having insurance and then shit happens. But I'll let you guys go because um, I really got to cut this shit out. I got to cut and edit this shit. I'll talk to you guys later and as always, fuck Tom Brady.